Today we're going to test run our MEP 802A military generator. We have it connected to our off grid house. CB1 breaker. CB1 breaker. <laughs> we have a 30 amp breaker and a 20 amp breaker. That energizes this whole panel. No. You can take it off. Well, just, no, you can just clean yeah. that back. Hey, Vila. Alright. Gotcha. Let's crank on. Get on position. So we'll crank it up, let it warm up for about five minutes, and get it transferred over. Switch on the uh, Outback Mate Gen Control to on, and it will automatically switch over and run our house and charge the batteries at the same time. And I'm going to check for the frequency and the voltage uh, in several places and see how it's doing. Cool. That's cool. All right. Get some more things going. Right. That thing is smoking. Yeah, it's because we got a. It hasn't been running a long time. Out of the pipe. And, and yeah, I know. And we got a. We're putting a load on it. That's, we're, we're test. We're load testing it. Let's go check it out outside. Okay, it's just disgusting. Yep. Put a load on it. It's starting to. It's gonna smoke a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I've got everything on in the house. Every stereo, TV, computer, light, air conditioner, fan, everything. We're, we're geared to do the opposite. Living off grid, you want to use as little power as possible. It says 110 volts in here. Should be up around 120. Okay, I'm gonna go adjust it. See if I can get it up to 120 volts or 115 or so inside. We're using we're using about 100% of the generator's power right now. And the other leg, the other breaker, it's putting out you know 100 more voltage, 123 volts. Okay, so I accidentally unplugged it a little bit. Now we're running, running right at 120 volts. Let's see where we're at. 60 hertz. That's what we're looking for. So what I'm going to do is switch the load terminals here. See if I can balance that out on the generator. Yeah, that's doing much better now that we switched the load terminals. Everything's up like it should be. Uh, 
118 volts somewhere in there that's about where the Honda runs so that's acceptable we're up around 3.7 kilowatts 3700 watts that we're using on this circuit We're finished doing the load test and our next phase will be wiring up the uh, an auto start, two wire auto start that we can connect either to the outback inverter or the midnight solar charge controller to tell it when to cut on and off. <laughs> 